Yep, yep, yep. Guys, if you can hear us, that means we're going to be coming back very shortly. How shortly, you might ask? Oh, how about right now? No. Right yeah. now. Wow. Back. Wow. It was JB shortly. It was JB shortly. <laughs> wow, you are just vicious so today. I'm so mean, and my belly is full. I'm well rested. I had a workout. I'm, it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> But we are back live from the Exploration Hall here at Adepticon for some more Marvel Crisis Protocol goodness. We are going into round three of the Contest of Champions event. Uh, This is the only place you can see it right here at the Professional Casual Network. Thank you for coming back and thank you for joining us all day. Chewy, Mitch, everybody, Wargaming Dad, how you doing? Neil. Did everyone have a good snack break? Did you stretch? Did you get hydrated? Did you go to the bathroom and make sure everything is is, is good? I hope you did, because we certainly did. Danny. Time in round three yeah. has begun. <laughs> Time in round Danny, three. Danny, I think we might have some more A-Force on the table today. I'm so excited. Yeah, I've heard rumor that Raven's Guard brought some, some A-Force, and I hope he brought his A-game. Uh, Dan, I, I think there might be some X-Men about to be on the table as well. Or some yeah. X-Folk. Yes. Raven's Guard brought X-Men. Mm-hmm. His opponent Paul has A-Force. Oh, yeah. Either way, we'll see it on the table. Yep. Exciting. Here, here is a super, super, super cool tidbit. Uh, Raven's Guard, a regular here on the stream, a regular uh, in the Discord as well. One of our favorite people. We got to meet him here just a few days ago for the first time in person. We couldn't be more excited. He's going to be on the table today. And oddly enough, he got matched up against someone else that stopped by. Apparently one of the fans of the podcast. Yeah. Uh, Paul stopped by, said hi, and uh, we'll be playing against Raven's Guard yeah. in round three of the contest of champions. Um, I'm super champions. excited. Raven's Guard has saved my bacon so many times on stream. Yes. I was like, I don't know what to do in Raven's Guard. Actually, you do this. And I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, so we, we, we really just couldn't be more excited to have these folks on the stream. Um, Dan, mm-hmm. um, after that last match, uh, the end of round two there, we saw spider foes do something we hadn't really seen happen a lot so far. Oh. And, and that was uh, to, to fall to their foes, yeah. Okay. They did what? They, they fell to their foes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You were watching, right? I was chatting with people mostly. Oh, fair. <laughs> fair. All right. Guys. Guys. For Raven's Guard, like we got the rosters here. Uh, of course, he's got X Men. We've got Storm, Cyclops, Magic, hmm? Rogue, X23, Honey Badger, Beast, Gambit. Uh, we saw him earlier yesterday. Uh, didn't get to see him do much, so hopefully he shows up and performs. And then Venom is a Splash that? and Shuri. Oh, which is pretty cool. I haven't seen a shirt yet. Yeah. Uh, for tank discards, he's got Lethal Protector, Journey Through Limbo, Exceptional Healing, Med Pack, Brace for Impact, Advanced R&D, First Class, Mission Objective, Indomitable, and Sacrifice. Nice. First Class, one of my favorite X-Men cards. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. Being able to do stuff for free is awesome. And then his Secures, or his Crises, for Secures, he's got Mutant Madman, uh, Spider Portals, and Extremis. And then for extracts, he has a Senators, a Spider Infected, and Montessi Formula. So, kind of familiar stuff there. All right. Pretty I've, cool. Can't wait to see what his squad is. Yeah, I've got Paul's list here. Um, he's bringing, again, A Force, uh, She Hulk, Black Dwarf, which I'm super excited. I don't know that we see Black Dwarf very often at no, all. No, we very um, much do not. Another one we don't see a lot Captain Marvel. Uh, Gamora, Black Cat Crystal, Black Widow, Valk, Proxima Midnight, and Wong. So a Whoa. really interesting grouping there. Like that's, re- I'm excited to see what ends up on the table for I, sure. I, I, I think see Black Dwarf. The yeah. super exciting thing is, regardless of how many times we see Wong, we're always happy to see him again. <laughs> yes. yeah. uh, yep. Always a delight. And almost always doing something cool, either trying to punch a green goblin out of the air right before the game ends, or slapping a juggernaut around. Uh, Wong's just the strongest styled yeah. guy there is. Yeah. Uh, for tactics cards, we've got Special Delivery, Stalwart Determination, Indomitable, Grievous Wounds, Rocket Boots, Path Jump, Med Packs, like Shielding Device, Blind Possession, and Smash. Uh, the Secures, we've got Demons Downtown, Intrusions Open Across the City, uh, and Portals. 
and for extraction, we've got research station attacked, alien ship crashes in downtown, and fear grips the world. All right, I saw some super excitement from Taylor. I think we might be getting some crisis out here. I believe they are, in fact, chosen. Raven's Guard on the left playing X Men, Paul on the right potentially playing some A Force. Let's see what we're getting. We are running hammers and portals. We are running hammers, hammers and portals. Spider portals. Nice. Okay. 18 threat. We've had a, a little uh, break from hammers, and they're back with a vengeance. And A Force is going to have priority. Oh, A Force has priority. So. All right. Uh, buckle up, guys. This is going to be good. We haven't seen spider portals yet it, this week. It has been a hot minute. Yeah, and yeah, it's well, been the first time today that we're seeing hammers. So I, I don't know if there's... Hammers. Right? I love hammers, man. I don't know if there's a bullseye potentially on either of these rosters, but listen, if we can get four hammers on anyone, it's got to be bullseye or toad. Heck, yes, Raven's Guard is here against... Paul. I'm not sure how Raven's Guard is doing today. Paul told us he's uh, gone one and one. So, we'll see what happens. Raven's Guard said he's been having a good time. He said he doesn't make, expect to make the top eight, so I, he might also be one and one. Okay. Why are the minutes are so much bigger than the hours there? <laughs> It's because I changed the font sizes. <laughs> I don't know how to change them back. Or, <laughs> it happens. Or more realistically, I'm just not going to. <laughs> we got setup of the objectives. So spider portals are on map D. So they're spread out. Oh, are they both on map D? Do we have overlapping objectives again? It might seem exactly that way. So spider portals certainly on D. And hammers... I believe they're also map D. So we know exactly where our models where are going. also D, yeah, so everything's yeah. going to be in the same spot. So we have our kind of diamond pattern here. With objectives just outside the deployment zones and then down the middle line horizontal. Well, our, on the screen, we got one in the north and the south. Absolutely. So building squads now. Excited to see what we get. I'm hoping for a black dwarf just because we don't see him ever. No, yeah, that's like, very true. I know that on the channel, we, and by we, I mean anyone but me, has used him in the past, <laughs> but. That's true. <laughs> he can deal out a shocking amount of damage. He is a really tanky guy. He's gotten vulnerability, has a bodyguard, and those two together is I've only seen a couple times throughout MCP. I think uh, Luke Cage has it. But Colossus Rogue. Colossus. Oh, and Rogue has... Yeah. Well, she has a bodyguard with a tactics card, not like a built-in one. But yeah, still she can do it. Oh, right, right. Um, but always a, a great combo to be able to do. Um, you know, and he's got he's got one of the few kind of action-based superpowers that you would think is a charge, but isn't. Uh, uh, he can, oh, yeah. He can kind of steroid himself a little bit, make a move action, and then get some extra dice on the attack but it does in fact count as an action. Uh, and every time I read it, I'm like, oh, he has a charge. Oh no, it's yeah, exactly I, not that. That one always catches me off guard when I try to use him. So I'd love to see Paul use him and use that effectively. It's kind of like Juggernaut's momentum, but uh, really easy to pick the gotta pay for it. So just to give you guys a look from home, we have spider portals and hammers on map D. So that is gonna be in these spots and what that will do for the spider portals is they will gain one victory point during the cleanup phase for each one of these objectives hammers we should all be familiar with you'll roll one additional dice on all attacks and it costs you one additional power to wow. hold to <laughs> wow. wow to use uh, any tactics cards being activated wow. by that particular character the spider portals however you can interact with you'll roll your defense and energy and if your role contains more crits, hits, or wilds than the number of healthy contesting enemy characters, the interacting controller now controls, the interactive character now controls the portal. If the role contains at least one skull, the interacting character is placed within two of its current position, and the opposing player resolves that movement. Also super quick, Burgermeister and Drozak. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, thanks, Thank guys. Thank you. So we're gonna uh, make a little happy starfish here. <laughs> a little bit of curly cues. Look at that hair. Oh, so happy. And he's wearing a tie. He's how off to work for the day. How is it? Okay, now it's got arms. So how is it a starfish and it's just a diamond? Those aren't his arms, those are his shoulders. Here's his arms. 
Hi. Hi. <laughs> That's terrifying. Hey. Looks like a claw. <laughs> you know, that'll probably be an enemy in an upcoming organized play kit. Did you love um, Microsoft Paint as oh, a I kid? Adore. I still yeah. use it for yeah. most of our graphics. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. A uh, bunch of new watchers, uh, viewers, followers. Thank you so much. Don't forget, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can give us a sub and it doesn't cost you any money. You can just link those two things together. Um, when we do get subs, we get a lot of loud uh, music and songs that mm-hmm. scare us half to death. So every time. It's always fun. Literally every time. Literally. Literally. So we're finalizing squad, going through tactics cards now, looks like on both sides. So quick, Danny, do you have any uh, calls for the game? Mm, I mean, A Force all the way. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm hesitant to make any real calls until we have more of an idea of what the squads are going to look like. Yeah, fair. Um, I missed part of the last game. Was my call correct? Did She Hulk get aggressive at any point? You know what? I, I don't know so. if she ever did. Did She Hulk get aggressive last game? Uh, she went to aggressive once and decided to just not move. Yeah, I'm the worst at this. All my calls have been wrong. I mean, that that seems like that should have been like... It was supposed to be a, a guaranteed shot. thing, yeah. yeah. Hey, Taylor. Well. Can you do me one favor? I don't want you to t- uh, tilt it, but I do want you to just move it like this. Ever so slightly. Uh, yes. A little bit back the other way. A little yeah. bit back. Half measure. Beautiful. Yes. There we go. That is beautiful. Nice well and centered. One hundred percent. Thank you, Taylor. All right, I'm seeing some uh, character cards popping out. All right, looks I'm like excited we're excited to see what we've got. Popping and locking. About to get busy. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Uh, I think I'm seeing venom. But up, 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 honey badger. Can't get enough venom on on here. We've seen them a lot, and I'm okay with it. For real. Okay, we are getting the juggernaut break this round. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. So for a force. Let's go. All right, a force. Okay. We've got She Hulk, Crystal, Black Cat, yes, Black Dwarf, and Wong. Yeah, Black Dwarf. Yes. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. And then for his ta- or for yeah for Paul's tactic cards, what does he got? Uh, he took Indomitable, Special Delivery. Oh, sweet. Stalwart Determination, Med Pack, and Blind Obsession. <laughs> nice. All right, so for Raven's Guard, we have a team that looks to be led by Storm, so we're going to be going X-Men Gold with Venom, and one of my favorites, second time we've seen her this week, it's Magic is going to be on the board. Dan, what's the rest of his list look oh, like? Oh, we're backed up by the Sister Clones, Honey Badger, and X-23, mm. and then Shuri for some pushing shenanigans. Okay. I imagine tactics. Shuri's, oh. sorry, just no, going to, like, blast... Yeah. A-force Listen, you're around. nearly invulnerable while you're blasting. Nearly. Yep. You blast everybody but Black Dwarf. Well, she could blast Black Dwarf, but she can't push him. You do big. That's true. All right. For um, Raven's Guard's tactic cards, we got Brace for Impact, Med Pack, First Class, Exceptional Healing for all them little Wolverines, and Journey Through Limbo, one of our favorites. I'm very excited to see X-23 and Honey Badger again. I feel like we saw them yesterday. Um, I personally didn't see too much of that game, but still... Super exciting to see these new characters on the table. Black Dwarf and Honey Badger. Uh oh. We got deployment going. Black Dwarf and Honey Badger. Right, right. That's what I was thinking. X23 versus She Hulk. Like. Well, and she was so vicious yesterday, (laughs) too. As soon as Honey Badger was hit, leaning in and absolutely decimating a uh, storm twice before jumping halfway across the field to try to do us some more. All right, so we got a Black Dwarf and a Wong, looks like. On Team Paul, and so far on the left, we have a character. Mm-hmm. Honey Badger he said was deployed first. Oh, Honey Badger. First Storm is just happy to be on X 23s side this time, so she doesn't just get one hit KO right. twice. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Twice. And a man team rushed me once, shame on me. And a man team rushed me twice, shame on you. Don't get Adam and team rushed again. Mm-hmm. Mm. X 23 on the board. X 23 is down on the board. Oh, the sisters are together. Aw. Sister like clones. 
a sister clone from the same mister. I started reading um, All New Wolverine when that box was first like announced. I wanted to get to know the characters a little bit more. And their relationship is really interesting. They're like sisters, but Gabby is a clone of Laura. Just like imperfect. So she has the one claw on each yeah. instead of two. And always, no, no claws in her feet. You always lose a bit of fidelity when you copy a copy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> And I love like Gabby's character. She's just yeah. kind of goofy and silly, doesn't take things too seriously, where Laura takes everything really seriously. So they have a good, it's almost like a cable Deadpool relationship. Actually, very legitimately. Without uh, breaking the fourth wall. The the whole clone of the clone thing, too, was actually covered very well in the documentary with Michael Keaton, Multiplicity Man. One of the clones on a, on a long enough timeline will eventually try to store pizza in a wallet. <laughs> What? Is that something that happens in the movie? Yeah. It's like, like the second clone. clone. I haven't seen that one. Clone, so. clone of a clone, and then the clones start cloning other clones. Yeah, it becomes a whole deal. I'll rate that as an important question for you, Tim. Yeah. Chris? <laughs> All right. So, Crystal is on the board. Danny, how excited are we to see A Force again? I'm so pumped to see A Force again, and I'm also excited to see X23 Honey Badger. Like, oh, yeah, that's a face off I want to see. All right, Wraith, just for you, I feel like you enjoy this particular color, but we do have an X-23. Some might say, where is she? Where is it going to end up? Oh, right here. That's where she is. The long arrow. It was. It was like a family circus. Whoop, there we go. <laughs> Okay, looks like we have magic down at the bottom side of Raven's Guard's deployment zone. Who's up at the north side of Raven's Guard? I think that Is that Storm? She looks like Storm. That is Storm. And then She-Hulk. Hiding behind us. Yeah, uh, so She-Hulk's right here. You can see right her. Right here. Oh, a little oh. higher. Right here. <laughs> yes. This hand, She-Hulk right here. All right, let's see if we've gotten an update on the old Longshanks for how much time is going to be in this round. All right, we got an hour and 22 minutes. So let's get that hour clock on there. Is she right? Is she wrong? We'll find out in a second. It does look like she's Actually, surprisingly close. close. Only off by like a minute and a half or something. So let's go ahead and get that to be exactly what it needs to be so we can start this round because obviously sure everyone is waiting for this to be here. Boom. Now we're all on the same page. Shuri is the final deployment. And we'll get right into oh, round move the hour clock a little bit because it's hard to see on top of the Quinjet. Three of the contest of champions. I'll put in the shadow of the Quinjet. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> this seems like a mission directive now too. <laughs> What's going to happen to the Quinjet in an hour and 20 minutes? Raven's Guard for Team Airhorn. You got our own air horn. <laughs> That's great. All I love right. So much. A Force has priority, right? Yes. I yes. forgot immediately. If Venom isn't a sound alert by next Monday, I'm going to be so sad, Tim. All right, well, as long as you're not mad, because I'm going to be driving 13 hours all by myself with no help from anyone this Monday. Whether they offer or not. Whether they, well, no, I don't think they're going to offer. Not after the not stuff after, that I yep. pulled this week. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully the drive will be obtainable. So I think we're all set. I see a thumbs up from Paul. Raven's Guard with an absolutely incredible shirt. Featuring a Jean Grey. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! The power face. Okay, there's the handshake. Here we go. Honor is intact. Oh, it's starting. My favorite things about these shows, how they impacted our lives, is that anytime somebody says wait and has any kind of pause, someone else goes, look, did I roll wild? No. Yeah. Or somebody says, oh yeah, and there's any kind of pause, someone else pops in with the power face. All right, so first Constantly. class has been used by Mr. Ravensguard, so they will not 
be paying any power to interact with the first objective. I love that card so much. That they try to get with hammers. That is a solid, solid move. It really opens up more options for the X-Men, and I think it's a good way to show their teamwork without mm -hmm. having it be like as direct. Yeah. Where it's kind of like Storm. I, I imagine that interp my interpretation of that is like Storm is guiding them in a way that they don't have to spend power to interact. All right, Black Dwarf is picking up our first hammer, and uh -oh. X in one, a hammer in the other. That's a deadly combination. They don't look alike, but Ebony Moss is brother. I don't think that's true, but Ebony Moss and Black Dwarf being brothers. Uh, aren't they known as the children of Thanos? Oh, I uh, thought the children of Thanos was Nebula and Gamora. I think the rest of them are too. Ooh. Not like, you know, kind of like adopted children. That's so nice. Like Storm is next. Thanos has always been kind of a humanitarian. Yo, are we going to get a hammer on Storm? That would be pretty sweet. Whoa. Raven's That's a bold gone. move. Is going to bring the thunder. She's pretty well protected on the other side. Oh, shh. <laughs> She's so good at just doing, we just said something about it, and it's just when it's least expected, and we just lose our skin. Whew. And right. I feel like Storm is pretty well protected. She can be super fragile, as we've seen, but she's on the other side of that large four-sized uh, piece of terrain right <laughs> here from the TV now. <laughs> it, was, it was Wraith. Wraith did it for you. <laughs> we appreciate that. Oh, and then she good. retreats. Raven's guard does say thank you for that wraith. He was able to hear the doubling effect through the TV <laughs> behind us. <laughs> All right. So I don't believe Storm was able to flip the spider portal. And yep. she did roll a skull, so she was in fact moved range two by Paul. Now, first class is only the first time you interact in the first round, right? So she could pick up the hammer for free, but had to pay to interact with the portal? That is exactly correct. Okay. So she's out of power at the moment. I do feel like using that card at this point is super important. You get that, you know, the interact. You don't have to pay for it. When you're kind of power hungry at the beginning anyway, it's a really good use of that card, I think. Speaking of power hungry, Wong just meditating. And then interacts with the portal. So I've tried to use that card later in the game, and it just doesn't seem to have the same impact outside of the first round. Absolutely. And, and he'll take it. Well done. Master Wong. Look at Wong, MVP again. It does look like he rolled a skull as well, so he will be moved a little bit, but who cares? He's got a portal. He saw it, he picked it up, and then all day he'll have good luck. <laughs> he picked up a portal? Yeah. Put Took a portal in his pocket, check it and see. <laughs> he meditated for one power. You Just see? hope you don't forget that portal's in your pocket and put something important like your keys in there. Because oh I don't know gosh. where it's, does it come out in like the spider verse or something? You that don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> the main spider's gonna steal your car. Ooh. I'm excited and we you, get to see magic again. Me too. Magic. And you know he do. I believe she'll get this portal here. Why? Because I'm willing it into being. She's also going to have a hammer. This is also awesome. Storm and Magic, both with hammers. I am surprised by that long activation to pick up a portal instead of running someone else up for a hammer. That is going to leave Raven's Guard with three hammers, most likely, going into round two. Yeah, I wonder how that's going to work out for Paul. He does have She-Hulk down there, so she could move up and take it back. Magic did move away from that... Oh, All right. teleported back. So that leaves it open for She-Hulk to move over there relatively uncontested. We might, Looks mm -hmm. like we might have She-Hulk v. Venom again. <laughs> yes. But if She-Hulk moves over there and takes it, that'll be difficult for Venom to take back. But she, you know, it's certainly gone pretty one-sided before when those two have met, at least on, uh, on the stage today. We'll see whether Venom can uh, live to see another day. Mm. It does look like we are going to have a long mover here headed to see if they can get within range of magic. Who's his long mover? Gamora? Gamora. Or Crystal. Oh, I forgot it was Crystal. That sounds correct. Crystal is going to go here. 
crystal moving in the rain shield. Okay, looks like we're gonna have a special delivery. Oh, crystal again, that's kind of funny. Knock, knock, open up your door, it's She-Hulk. Close it real quick, lock it. Is that? I said close it, quick, lock oh, it. Yeah, She-Hulk's real. terrifying. <laughs> Otherwise it's breaking and entering. She knows that, she's a lawyer. All right, here we go. Magic is potentially in a lot of trouble here. I think the teleport was a good move, but was it enough? And after this movement, he'll have two on this objective, making it really hard for Venom to come over and take it back. Is this the one you have to roll more than enemy characters near it? Yeah. Healthy contesting characters. Let's see. I don't oh, like this. Magic. not a fan. Yeah, this is a rough spot for magic. Nice. Sensational uppercut. Sensational uppercut. Magic is not a tanky character. Magic she could, could get dazed here. One, One goes through. What? Wow. That's crazy. Unexpected. She's, but she is slowed. Does that matter so much since she has a teleport? Do you think that really affects her as much as it might with a you know, other? She does have characters? a medium move. Yeah, so yeah, it's certainly impactful. I think the scary thing about having this low, especially from She Hulk, is that if She Hulk does hit her with clear the court, she's going to stagger uh, magic regardless of what the result is. And that's Crystal's activation. And that is Crystal's activation. Heck of a turn. Crystal did a great job with She Hulk. Yeah. She did. You know, the person I think you really need to put slow on is Venom. Oh, did, did Crystal flip the spot? Taylor? Did Crystal take that objective back? I don't think anyone has taken that objective. Oh, okay. At the bottom? Yeah. No, nobody's taken Oh! Crystal did probably have to spend oh. some power to use right. special delivery. I thought X-Men had that portal, but I guess uh, yeah. Magic rolled a skull there. I did too. And didn't take it. So, so the only portal that's been plucked is the... Taylor. Right now. Clarification, yeah. X-Men does not have that portal, right? No one has that portal. Okay. Yep. That is. Magic picked up the hammer and then walked away. Oh, man. Mm. Okay. Magic didn't try to take that. So, yes, it does look like both She Hulk and Crystal had to spend one. Yeah, so she, Crystal wouldn't have the power then. Mm -hmm. not she even, Hulk will. Not even using Crystal to door dash is free. It costs everyone just a little bit. Yeah. All right. Raven's guard is up. Who's he going to activate? Is it time for Venom to come in and maybe try to pull a She-Hulk off him? Venom. Looks no. like X-23 is going to back up Storm. X-23, take your hand and come with me. Storm, watch out! Oh wait, she's on your team. It's okay. <laughs> I meant that's what the character was saying. Storm, watch out! Yeah. I'm coming! Please. Show someone! <laughs> She-Hulk is in town! Yeah. Oh, it's man! Oh, oh man! Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I hope people get that reference. <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's a Shuri double move. Up, oh, the, oh. Up to the top spider portal. Whoops, wrong one. Whoops, there it is. Well, going he, for that portal. Yeah, she the gets portal, it. and he does. No push. No push either. Here we go. That means Raven's guard got three hammers. Potentially, there's still that the one in front of him that he's yet to pick up, and at least one spider portal. But She-Hulk still has yet to activate, and is going to be probably laying some hurt onto Magic. But so far, only taking a single damage. If you're Raven's Guard, who are you picking up that home hammer with? X-23, probably? Does that Venom have it? That would be my thought. It would take a bit of repositioning for Venom to get it, but it could be worth it. Got a She-Hulk using a sensational uppercut on Magic. Ooh, do you see a crit? Nice time it went well for Magic. Nothing. 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 Wow, this She-Hulk needs to like put her glasses on. I mean, the Sorcerer Supreme of Limbo herself, Magic, is just taking punch after punch from a lawyer. Your laws don't work here. <laughs> that is a chaos realm. It is. Uh, I feel like it's my fault because I said Magic is not tanky, and now she's just tanking everything because I keep being wrong with my predictions. The thing is, is that any single one of these attacks from <laughs> She-Hulk could have done it. Three okay. this time. She's still up. She's going to survive the round with that hammer. 
She has four damage on her total. She's well, got five on the side. She Hulk could throw at this point. She's oh, built up a fair true. bit of power. Four, I think it's it, I think it's out of five, right? On her health. Hammers side. and spider portals. Also, hello, Wargaming Dead. There's five. I think we're gonna get the throw here. Right, Wraith? Just the universe is like, no, nope, whatever you're gonna say, we're just gonna do the opposite. Literally, Dan, though, that's been your whole life. Uh, like, it's not pretty accurate. Throw magic into the building, play Brace. Oh, throwing magic into the building to guarantee that damage. That is a great call. And Brace there to make sure that magic survives Mission. the day. Wow, so surviving with one. We've seen a lot of that today with these characters holding objectives, just barely eke it out with one left. Yeah. I mean, who would have put money? It would have been no one's cost of the round that Magic would have survived three sensational uppercuts yeah. from She-Hulk and being thrown into a building. Yeah, yeah. I absolutely. I would have said she'd be down one or two. Yeah, I would have said after the second sensational uppercut. Yeah. I thought that would have been it for her. Honey Just in case around. you get a bad first one, but to survive three? Yeah. That's also going to fill... Honey bag. That is going to fill Suck magic with Rage. power. <laughs> that scared me too. <laughs> Suck it, Wolverine. <laughs> it's a really interesting use of brace to block. You know, you go, typically people go for the, you know, if you throw a size four building in me, I'm just going to negate that damage. But the negating only one, yeah. do you feel like that's going to pay off in the long run with She-Hulk that can throw anything on the table other than the Quinjet because nobody can do that? I do because I think uh, when she is going to throw those things, uh, no, it's such a tough call. I mean, if it's a matter of you play it now and you keep your point, yeah. it's early in the game, like, you want the points. You want that cushion and that buffer so that it's not such an uphill battle later on. Absolutely. Especially if he keeps priority and is able to activate magic first, he could potentially yep. portal through Limbo on She-Hulk and have Ankle Biter right next to her, giving her incinerate and lowering her defenses by one, giving her one defense dice on physical and mystic attacks. That I would hate be to say insane. it, but this might be the the matchup that this could be the thing that could take She-Hulk down relatively easily. Yeah. I mean, we were talking last game that she seems like, you know, an impenetrable powerhouse, but the right combination of mm -hmm. opponents, forget it. And Magic's pretty stacked with power, not having to pay one for the hammer. Don't she got a bunch from getting hit. Gets up to the top objective and they take it back. Oh, wow. Oh. So we get an absolute beeline from a kitty cat yeah. going from the deployment zone to... Here. Pretty sure that's not how she did it, but that dude, looks she, nothing like a beat. She has two long moves and she can swing around like Indiana Jones. That's exactly how it happened. Last activation for Mavis. What's that? That's the last activation for Mavis. Okay. Right, so Who was that? Oh, Black, Black Cat. Cat. That's why he said Kitty Cat. Ah. Oh, so it does look like Raven's Garden is not going to be having priority in the second round, which means Magic is in a hell of a lot of trouble. But yeah. because she did survive without being dazed and not losing that hammer x23 with the hammer x23 I like it. hammer yeah dan what do you what are like the implications it. of that what do you think death yeah implications are um stabbing yeah with feet claws and hand claws and Ooh. a hammer claw hammer claw oh yeah she just uses the backside of the hammer because she's used to claws <laughs> she's not gonna bludgeon you she's gonna stab you x23 interacts does not get no push okay oh, no interact and no skull, so no push and no portal power. Venom can still do it. Sending Which defense die? What, what do we roll for the spider, port, spider portals? Is Your it energy, energy defense? defense? Ooh, so that's not good for Venom. Not great. He's got to roll only one success there, though, so that's not the end of the world with yep. two dice. Could be worse. Could be worse. Could be a boat. Okay. Here we go. Oh, he's not even trying. Venom's going the other way. You start putting damage on She-Hulk here. Not really going to be able to push her out of position with the tendrils. And he wouldn't have enough energy. I mean, maybe getting the bleed on her. I'd like to let Chad know that Raven's Garden has done the Venom song. Aww. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Taylor tells Raven's Garden Ben saying Venom that way, which is perfect. Tendrils into She-Hulk. It is putting, trying to put some damage on her. Interesting. She's so maybe rolling. she'll finally be aggressive. She doesn't really want anywhere to go here. What's that? She's bleeding. Nice. An ankle biter. 
bleeding's one of those that's kind of a big deal on She-Hulk because she's going to activate a few times before she dazed. So you really have to think about, do I shake that? Do I use one of hey, She-Hulk's wow, actions, man. which are monumental? I mean, that's six threat in action. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's, or do you just say, I got 20 health. Who cares about one every turn? Yeah. What's that? Med pack on magic. Med pack on magic. Nice. She needed that. That will bring magic back to only one. Now watch she hold take her out in one punch. Yeah, probably. <laughs> the A-Force power went to Black Dwarf. The A-Force power went to Black Dwarf. The A-Force making sure that Black Dwarf is going to be full of power. We are tied. Three to three. Three to three. Three to three. Something we always like to see. That's a good first round. Take Still anybody's game. Which pretty much always is after round one. Yeah. <laughs> Unless something crazy happens. All right, now we're left in the round. We're clearing some tokens. Two spider portals in the hands and the pockets, binds, and hearts of Paul and the A Force. Two, some might say three hammers in the pockets of X Men Bolt. So Paul got a little, he didn't go for that one hammer, but it worked out for him getting more of the portals because that's not a guaranteed objective. These yeah. often frustrate me when I play because I just never seem to roll what I need to. Yeah. Uh, especially when using energy defense, which is pretty often a little bit lower mm -hmm. on a lot of characters. Uh, so, so I that, think, that we can see a lot of swinging happen that way. I think we're going to see a pretty incredible turn from Crystal, who has one power now after the power phase, but with a couple beams and a cluster of characters, could be getting a couple power per attack and using some elemental onslaught to make sure that she is going to be attacking three times this round. Especially with Venom there, two energy attacks could be pretty hurtful to him. Yeah. Are we getting a skull war determination? Is that what's happening now? Tactical Taylor, do we have a skull war determination being used? She-Hulk and Black Cat, stall, war, determination, no breathing. There will be no throws, there will be no bros, there will be no movements. Yes, he listens. Forced upon the A-Force yes. this round. Hey, Jolly Joe Mama. <laughs> I love that name. Yeah. A jolly hello to you, too. Yeah, that song stuck in my head. Right? <laughs> Rocking at Adepticon. Let's go. Oh, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> you still haven't watched that yet, have you? What? MXC. No. Took me, I couldn't remember. I almost said MCP. Dallas, a big fan of MXP as well. Yeah. He MXC? popped in the chat uh, the first day during the What If event and called me the Kenny Bunkport or something. Kenny Blankenship. Yes. Oh, Blankenship. He really, yeah, I missed yeah. that. That's, that's awesome. Incredible. That's incredible. That's a high praise. Oh. Kenny Blankenship's pretty hilarious. Yes. Okay, listen, I'll take it. And up next we have Baba Ganoush. <laughs> <laughs> Every episode. <laughs> Somebody who's called Baba Ganoush. Don't get eliminated. Uh, so I think she hoped them eliminate somebody this round. I, yeah, that's, I have a that, that's my case. call. In case we've forgotten, there's a... she hopes eliminating somebody this round. A storm up here, a black dwarf here, long there. A whole lot of hurt about to happen here. Taylor, tell us what's going on. Sounds like She-Hulk is activating. She-Hulk is activating. Not a surprise there. Yeah. She-Hulk is going to do some damage. What? Probably physical damage. What'd you say? Maybe emotional oh, as well. She badger. does have a sharp tongue. She's she throwing honey badger? Oh, wait. How dare she? Wow. I mean, yeah. That is a bold move, Kyle. Get Let's that ankle biter off. out of there. I'm shocked. He might need that clear the court to do that one final damage or more to magic. She's very confident in those sensational uppercuts. You no, know, magic has four stamina now. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I thought you said yeah. that final stamina. Yeah. Well, if it gets it down to one again, Grace yeah. is gone. I'm 
I'm not sure though, because originally I wanted to say if it were me playing She Hulk, then yes, I would focus on magic to get her down. But if she's got med packed, so she's up on health, there's not really, you know, if she has one left, then yes, let's just get rid of that threat. So that's pretty good. She what? She snakes honey back the terrain like a snake trap through. You're far away. Oh, near Black Dwarf. That's not where Honey Badger wants to be. We're punching magic now. Only wow, one again? going through. Like I said, I think he might have needed that throw. Yep. That is shocking. Slow too. What is this? She is slowed as well, but here, that's the big deal. If he goes for uh, she Hulk Spender here, that could be a stagger. Superior weight training. Superior weight training not doing the defense rest. Superior weight training adding some additional dice to this attack for a sensational uppercut. It'll swing for 10 dice. Will this be able to do that last little bit? Well, that's fine. Switch it? Yeah. Um, I think a student prone has a great point that she takes three dazes. She takes three in dazes. He did not nice. need to throw, and it wasn't quite that close. Yeah. Um, with that lethal protector. And she picks up the hammer. Nice. She Hulk picks up the hammer. Took a bit, but she got it done. Yeah. And girls get it done. Runs the world. Two days well, magic. She dazed. Yeah. Right. My yes. call was All right. right. Mm-hmm. It. What'd you say? She hope was taking somebody down this round. Oh. Yeah. I played the call, but forgot what you said. It was because her call <laughs> was that she hope would be taking someone down, yeah. Judy Brown. <laughs> Boom. Right? I mean, leave it to a lawyer to kill the magic. Oh, no. Yeah, it's magic. Get down. down. <laughs> Laying it on the ground. She's knocked out. Oh, she's not knocked out yet. She's just dazed. She might not even be off her feet. I imagine when they're dazed, they're just kind of like, Ooh. Yeah, they get the Tweety Birds. It's, I yeah. think that's official. The official Honey terminology. Badger. Badger. Herney Badger. Herney Badger. Herney Badger. Herney Badger. Herney Badger. Herney Badger. Coming in to stab and bite some ankles. Law slashing She Hulk. Did She Hulk take damage after her activation from the bleed? Mr. Taylor. He can't hear you. <laughs> did uh, She Hulk take bleed damage at the end of her activation? She sure did. Oh These boy. I didn't bother shaking that. Yeah, Dan, I think that your, your thought process on that, I, I think it makes the most sense. You agree? Just don't bother shaking the bleed. Keep not, those actions. Not now. Like, Maybe if she gets too high in damage, but she's not really been hurt much yet. Yeah. Okay, Venom's down. Looks like he's down. fallen. He can't get up. And he can't get up. <laughs> he's just a, laying there. Do we have a fallen Venom? He's tired. Oh, Give him a break. He's a real sleepy man. He left his life. Raven's guy's like, oh. Home. He's just so sleepy. All right, listen. <laughs> he was he's up, just so sleepy. He was he up late last life night. He needs a life alert. He's like, go home. Yeah, Venom he was with, up late yeah. last night with that coverage of the, the finals for the team tournament. Of Dr. Norbert, Gil, Greg, and Keith. <laughs> Everybody in chat going, Venom down! <laughs> He's fine. Mitch, you got it exactly right. Forgot his life alert. <laughs> Guys, I like that we're all on the same page here. He was accident prone. Yeah, All right. He's Mitch. <laughs> He's spinning that broken record again. You know? Beating that dead horse. For real. He's not wrong, but. <laughs> yeah, just, just like Thor normally gets beaten up. Mm. <laughs> All right, so. Pass is no longer What's that? Passes are no longer deployable. <laughs> Mitch. That's fair. All right, Wait, so you, it, something you feel strongly about. I could stop saying I'm oh, a nice man in the game. Oh. That was a great catch by Paul. Not only is She-Hulk aggressive, Paul's trying different tactics to take out his opponent's models. You no, know, Paul's <laughs> the one who saved it. Shout out to Paul. I mean, talk about sportsmanship, making sure your opponent's models don't fall to their death. 
great reflexes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that that attack by Honey Badger, by the way, went in, rolled three hits, but she all rolled three blocks. Wow. Because she couldn't quite get within one, it seems like. Unless uh, she crit and got a 150% defense roll. All right, so we got a fair number of people viewing right now. Mm-hmm. And I was talking to somebody playing in the tournament earlier today, and I referred to myself as a one-man petition to get Iceman in this game. We need to up those numbers. Those are rookie numbers. We need everybody else to jump on this Iceman bandwagon and promote that to AMG, so maybe it'll happen. Volcanic Surge. It's going to hit Shield, Honey Badger, and X-23. There's that beam. Yep, so <laughs> this is going to be devastating. We're getting a Volcanic Surge, potentially putting some incinerate on Honey Badger, X-23, and she hulk just takes one. Mm-hmm. She still don't care about that damage. No, she don't. I mean, it's going to head up, though. She's taking yeah. a little bit here, a little bit from Bleed. We're going to throw some incinerate out there. And it also looks like Crystal, Crystal's going to get a couple power from it, too. She'll hook after damage after the beam. Okay. Oh, we're looking okay. at She Hulk's card. I'm curious what she's at now. Four after the beam? Wow. Okay, she That's didn't have as much off. as I thought. Yeah. Just so sit on that bleed. Who cares? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I thought she's at like six or seven now. This will absolutely give Crystal two enough power uh, if she attacks a second time to get off that elemental devastation and take a third Sorry. time. That's a gr- that's a really cool power. I like yeah. it a lot. Yeah. Four power to just attack again. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's pretty unique actually. You'd think that would be a pretty standard superpower to be able to attack more to do more attacks, but it's really really rare. Wow, so Honey Badger took three from that Volcanic Surge. Ooh. She's now incinerated. That is going to hurt. Yes. Yeah, she's in bad shape. Uh-oh. You know, it's interesting. This is the second time that we've kind of seen this um, She-Hulk and Crystal 1-2 punch here. We saw this last game, too. Mm-hmm. So that's that could be a really... I mean, She-Hulk is lethal on her own, but between the two of those, and then you have two threats that you have to contend with. Yeah. I, I think Honey Badger's in, in for a world of hurt here. Because Crystal can just keep throwing those elements at you, and she's got a tactics card if she's got a decent amount of power mm-hmm. that she could do it again. She, it just a tactics card to let you attack again. Yeah. Like, she can do four attacks in a round without a ton of setup. She's a tactics card that lets her attack again, too? Isn't there? Next no, I don't think so. Sister. All right, X-23 is going to get a little bit closer. She after. definitely has a crystal-specific tactics card that does something cool. Yeah. Elemental it infusion. A, it puts a bunch of... Um, Special conditions on people. Oh, is that what I'm thinking? So, whenever she deals some damage, she can spend two to play this card until the character is dazed or until the end of the round. When an enemy character that is within range three of Crystal suffers damage from an allied attack, she can add incinerate, stun, or slow. Oh, that's awesome. She can add. Uh, okay. She can add more of special effects, not on to attack. X23. Yeah, close. <laughs> she takes three and is incinerate. Wow, Crystal is putting on some absolutely. Hurtful beams here, doing some heavy damage to X23. Did Paul get some uh, cursed right, Bobby Yaga dice too? He dice. seems to be doing real well. I mean, listen, the, the people here in Adepticon are doing an incredible job, but there is a large house in the parking lot with chicken legs that is giving people very cursed dice. We need to get on that. Honey Badger does what? Little sisters. Little sisters. Little sis. I forget how that one works. I do she as She gets well. to stab, I think, or something. Everything today is just extra tax in my mind. I mean, it, that's probably, you know, to be fair, that's probably it. Yeah, little sis, she can move towards the character that damaged X-23. Just a move, huh? It doesn't cost anything, though. Mike, uh, I think she broke up the beam with that. Yeah. It was, it was a huge play there. So we got Hydrokinesis into Honey Badger. If it does one damage, she will be dazed. This one has a push? Hydrokinesis, yes. Blasting water at Or, I'm sorry, not a, it slows, not a push. This one, is it the earth one that pushes? The wind one. Wind, that makes sense. We're feeling the breeze here in Adepticon right now as we've opened up the walls to reveal an exhibition hall as well as the Warhammer Hall itself. Okay, we're seeing what is actually going to happen here with this Hydrokinesis. The Hydrokinesis, regardless of whether it does damage or not, will give Crystal enough 
to be able to attack a third time. Two damage, Honey Badger passes zero, X-23, so she stays in the wall. X-23 what? Uh, sorry, exceptional healing. Oh, okay. exceptional healing oh. to keep Honey Badger on her feet. Interesting. Okay. Honey Badger's still up. Her being there to ankle bite her. Here's the thing, though. Crystal can afford another attack here. Will it be the one? Yes, she is. Will it be the one? Do it though. She gonna save it for something else? She doesn't have much to spend power on outside of that. She's really been chipping away here. After exceptional healing, like I feel like it's just a point of pride now. Like, no, I'm taking you down. Seeing red. Stay down. Not only that, you don't want Ankle Biter on She-Hulk or Crystal when Venom's about to go, X-23 is about to go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Now we got the wind. Here's the devastation. Can it pull it off? Is Honey Badger still alive? Raven's Guard's face doesn't look super happy here, but neither does Paul's. We're re-rolling to die. Raven's Guard got a pretty good poker face. And she's dead. Oh, Honey Badger. It did seem like he needed that re-roll from Crystal. And humans innate to get the job done, but it was in fact done. Crystal's gonna interact with the portal. Oh, that makes sense. Crystal's interacting with that portal. She gets it for A Force. So that is three portals now for A Force and one hammer. Sorry, two hammers. That's huge. That's gonna be five victory points being scored this round by the A Force. This round is far from over though. We got quite a few activations left. Yeah, that's like Black Dwarf. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to see what happens with Black Dwarf. Could he get to Raven's Guard's back portal with two short moves? He's not the fastest boy He's out there. Bad. He does have that large base, though. Two short moves might get him in range. So I think if we go to our helicopter cam, if he were to short oh, move. We have a from chat predicting a double move. And that's it. Yeah, I think that will be. Using our expert short move tools here. Yes, that will put him right over top of it. Like how his base keeps getting bigger. X23. He's got glasses. <laughs> oh, X23 is attacking? Claw rush of the She Hulk. Claw rush of the She Hulk. biter in effect, Taylor. She's dazed. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, Honey Badger's dazed. No ankle biter here, but She Hulk is incinerated, right? Uh, I don't believe so. Why did I think she might be incinerated? Oh, the others got incinerated by Crystal. Yeah. Wow. Three damage to so She-Hulk. Some, now might be the time to shake that bleed. Yep. Yeah, that puts her to seven. Up to seven. She's yeah. at seven now. Yeah. Halfway. I don't know. All right. When she gets that around. movement oh, from oh. Claw Rush. Crystal might be the one in trouble here. What do, you, do you keep going after She-Hulk? Do you think he did that mostly for the extra move? Because she's got, like, hit and run kind of there? Uh, so I'm thinking he might try to take out Crystal here. Very easy to do for X-23 in a single in a single attack with a hammer. If he does it, he'll get Frenzy and then be able to attack She-Hulk a second time. I forgot she had a hammer. And that was only one attack. So we could potentially see two more depending. And he's also got a pounce. He could then pounce into Crystal to seal the deal, get the Frenzy off, and... Mm be able to frenzy into She-Hulk. No pounce. I don't think she had that much power. She oh. Excuse me? She, not, she has. Oh, she has, uh, yeah, she's taken seven like, total. What? <laughs> From what? <laughs> Excuse you? Was there a Helios laser involved? What's happening? We dropped a meteor. <laughs> well, I didn't even think that they had a... A Helios laser bombardment here, but... Um, so I was thinking about this during our lunch break. What is the most number of dice you've ever seen rolled for an attack? Ooh. I know yesterday we saw 23. Yeah. Somewhere else during the team tournament, somebody rolled 33. 33 dice. What attack was that? Helios. Helios. X-23. X-23 is doing a builder into She-Hulk. All right, Mitch rolled roll. 21. Blocks it all. Oh no. Nuts. X23, not as effective as last, not as efficient as last we saw her, but still doing well. Right. Okay. What do we got left here? Venom on Raven's side. 
Wow. Wow. Probably off of an incantation of obliteration would be my guess. Yeah. Healing factor is X23 is done. Okay, X23 is all set. Healing up a little bit before she ends her activation. Will we see Black Dwarf now? Will we see Wong? Is that all we have left on Paul's side? No, we also have um, someone up top. Okay, who? What's it? Black Cat. Black Cat, that's right. Who, I don't know if you knew this or not, can't be thrown this turn. No. Or pushed. Oh, because Stalwart Determination. Right, Stalwart yeah. Determination. Ah, you tried to trick me. I, I didn't. You were testing me. He was just telling you. I passed. Us. Not everything's a trick, Dan. Yeah. Yes, it, especially with Tim. Okay, it yeah, is. fair. Yep, he's right. You know, I wish that wasn't true. <laughs> Based on past experience. Yeah. <laughs> it's either a test or a trick. That's true. I'm either joking or telling the truth. Cat Claws into Sherry. Okay. Cat Claws into Sherry. Yeah, Chewy Black Dwarf is on the table. Tim, do you want to highlight that with our helicopter cam? Yeah, helicopter cam. One and one, so we got it blanked out. Oh. This time with feeling. Doing it again. Black Dwarf is right there. One goes through on the second attack. One goes through on the second attack. Kitty can't claws back into Sherry. Slash, slash. So the Stalwart Determination, an absolutely great move on Black Cat, okay. having uh, to be completely immune to both Sherry's pushes and Storm's throw. Uh, Symbiote Tendrils, or uh, Web Snare. Yeah, I mean, he's on the other side of the table, but she, uh, Black Cat absolutely would have been taking those other three. Probably from point blank range, too. What was, was she the only one that used it? Oh, She-Hulk did as well. I was thinking, yeah, to, to not be able to move She-Hulk out of position with Venom. Good move there as well. Okay. So seems like an okay turn for Black Cat. Five dice landing bolt into Black Cat. Can we get the shock or do we just drop her? Ooh, Chewy, congrats on getting a 3070. Well done. Yeah. So Paul's record is one in one. I'm not sure about Ravensguard. Dan suspects that Ravensguard is also Ra one in um, one. I'm wondering what both players' records are so far. <laughs> records for both players. We know Paul's one in one. How is Ravensguard doing? Yeah. I believe it's one to one as well, but we'll get a confirmation here. Handful of damage. And some thunder in Black Cat's pocket. And it looks like Storm is also going to teleport over. Well, they care. They're both one on one. They're yeah. both one on one. Thank you. The seat in front already looked at long shanks for us. They're on top of it. Mm hmm. And for that, we thank you. <laughs> All right, let's see what she's going to do. Is she going to try to throw her around? Comes into play. Yes, it does. Hey. Yes, it does. Maybe Raven's Garden would not have moved in there. If he had remembered Star Wars Determination, we'll see if he lets him take it back or if he would have changed that. Doesn't appear so. Seems fine to me. Okay. So he's going to try to flip the portal. He's going to need to roll two hits, crits, or wilds here. Oh, we got, we got it. Got two. Took it back. Black Cat has already gone. Will not have an opportunity to bring that back. It seems like Raven's Guard will absolutely be scoring that portal this round. Unless that Black was, Dwarf has something to say about it. And that's but she probably won't. Black Dwarf would have to roll three successes yeah, to get that back away from them. He's not going to be able to, He'll have to double move. and mm -hmm. He has a throw, but I don't think he has a bunch of power on him because he hasn't really done anything. He's picked up a hammer and that's it. He might just have one power from the second turn power phase. Mm -hmm. All right, we're taking a look here. Doing some measuring with Black Dwarf. We got Black Dwarf and Wong left, I believe, for Paul. Seemed like he's going to get in the thick of it. Probably double move. Maybe have a throw on top of it as well, but I don't think he's going to have enough power for that. 
So probably just setting up for an absolutely colossal round three. We got a big cluster down at the bottom. That black dwarf was like, I want a piece of that. There we go. Black dwarf double moving. He's grooving. Double move. Somebody called that. I think it was a seat prone said double move. And there was correct. He's joining that ruckus down at the bottom. We got a ruckus. Can we have a ruckus if we don't have a juggernaut? Uh, you know, sure. Yeah, I think so. Oh, he is throwing. Throwing terrain. Ooh. Okay. X-23. Oh, probably. they're A-Force. He's probably been powering uh, him oh, up from attacks. Oh, that's true. It was. Size 3 going into X-23. Yep. Oh, okay. size 3 and X-23. Yes. She could be in a little bit of trouble. She Does Does she get the reroll on dodge or just defense? I think it's just defense rolls. She takes 3. She, she takes all... She takes 3. Ooh. Yeah, attack or defense. Wow. That hurts. Takes three, but I don't think she's down because of her healing factor. I believe that is the case. That was a lot. Black Dwarf trying to play catch with X-23 and her saying, what? Boom! Last minute before she gets hit. Said, what? Boom. She does probably have one left, in my guess. I don't think she quite had healed to full the fast healing, but she may have. Detective Taylor getting some tactics. <laughs> All right, so Black Dwarf is activated. We have Shuri, who could go. Looks like she will be, too. Potentially taking a medium movement. Venom still has yet to go as well. Magic was dazed. So what we could see here, and would probably be incredibly useful, as part of the updates, did we see Shuri get a size restriction on her push, or is it still Wide yeah, open. she did. I think it's three. Yep. Size three. So she could potentially move. I don't think she can move Black Dwarf. Because he's probably size four. He is. He is. She Hulk, I'm going to assume, is the same. She's also size three. No, she's, she's size, size three, three. So she could be pushed. So she could be pushed by Shuri. I mean, Crystal is also not the healthiest of characters. Okay. Well done, Shuri, moving to the eastbound or westbound or leftbound portal and taking it and putting it in her pocket for later. Well, she just said, I'm out of here. Yeah, she said, a peace. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sorry, I stole it. Right out of there. That's okay. <laughs> it's a great joke. You can use it all you want. <laughs> all right, Wong's oh, going to no, get into the thick Wong. of it. Uh-oh. -uh. Yeah, they were worried before when She-Hulk was there, but now Wong is going to get into the action and start slapping some people down. Being Imagine able to... Wong just cracks his neck a couple of times and just mm -hmm. struts forward. Time to go. Not only that, this is a great play as Wong will be able to use Faithful Assistant to get some bleeds off of some characters that would prefer not to shake. How'd you feel about a Wong Sorcerer Supreme model? I think that'd be incredible. I think we should have that. Base it off of Benedict Wong because he had technically Sorcerer Supreme? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want a tactical suitcase as well. Oh, I definitely want him to have a superpower where he can make you punch yourself in the face. Ooh. Like he did it to Abomination in Shang-Chi. Make it work like uh, Martial Prowess. He can spend yeah. he takes no damage, then take two damage back. <laughs> yes, I love it. Portal Prowess. <laughs> Could we, could we just get Benedict Wong model in the same box as Shang-Chi? Mm -hmm. You're welcome, AMG. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> Wong might end up being out of reach. Well, no, it's, it's range three. I think if you double... Yeah, it's so the he heals have action, to double move. It? Yeah, but Faithful Assistant to remove the special conditions is not. Is it Faithful Assistant that removes the special conditions? Let's just double check that. I don't remember. I think it is. Nope. Also That's just for the power. Gives power. So he wouldn't have to have an action to use the heal. Abomination wouldn't be KO'd by his own punch. He takes beatings from Hulk. No issue. True. But listen, that was just for show. Mom's concerned about Venom. Oh, yeah. That's a good move. Yep. 
I admire players who play long as well. Tendrils in the shield. Tendrils in the shield. Do you think... All right, Danny, Dan, chat, mm -hmm. let me know. Do we think She-Hulk will be off the table this game? She-Hulk? Sure, he's got upgrades. Okay, then I'm getting some rerolls to get some more damage here. I mean, Raven's Guard seems to be making an effort at it. She'll yeah. be, she's at, what, seven or eight right seven, now? yeah. Last we she knew. She takes four she more. Takes That's going to bring her up uh, to so 11. Yes. So I need an answer before we realize that. <laughs> yeah. And that's only the first attack. She is still going to be bleeding. Wong didn't get too close to help out, right? Looks like he's still back by that home objective. Yeah. He was if a little he, nervous of the pull. Yeah, I would be too. If he could get in there to help She-Hulk stay up longer, I would say no. But if he stays back, they got a fair amount of damage dealers. Magic will be back up next round as well. Yeah. They could, you know, with some focusing, you can take out She-Hulk. We're doing it again this time with feeling. Venom's base, Venom Builder is a good attack. Shuri with upgrades again. Shuri upgrades him again. Shuri doing some utility work here. What does that put her at? She takes two 13. more. 13. 13. 13. Yeah. She's got yeah. six left. She's 19 or 20? 20. She's at 20? Yeah. All right, seven left. Listen, if that happens again, you might be able to throw something too. Hello, what do we got? Ooh, getting a That's present. for you. Just remind me to talk to you a little bit. Okay. Tim got someone's hotel room key card. Wow, Jay. Damn. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We got moving now. We're measuring what size is the building he's on. I believe that is the Cosmic Taco Shop, which would make it size three, three, four, four. Cosmic Taco Shop is size four. Venom. I miss what exactly is happening here. He moved off it somehow. Yeah. Storm's leadership. You can actually use a Dace character now. Oh, okay. Storm's leadership. He moved with. Huh. I've forgotten about that all game. That is incredible. It's exactly what we need. Let's throw some people into other people. Mitch, you wouldn't believe the number of Venom crystal underwear on the Queen's table that have been thrown Venom into Venom throws wow. crystal It's crazy. Machine. It is. Listen, <laughs> there's one reason I came to Adepticon, and it wasn't for that. It was to cover Marvel Crisis Protocol, so I have to ignore all the invitations, Mitch. <laughs> hey, cutie, thanks for the flow. Oh. She only takes one, she's a full power. She oh. only takes one, she's a full power. Some yeah. force we're probably going to be cleared here. Eee, this is one of those times you really want priority, but I, I think it's Paul's going to keep it here just by the fewer model count. She hope with full power is terrifying. Yeah, that's, that's a scary prospect. Mm -hmm. Tied game at round three. Ooh, still tied. Go. Seven, seven, seven. That's awesome. This is really good. Seven nice close seven. game. This is MCP heaven. Seeing two of our favorites. All right. Going into round three. Fresh and fit as a fiddle. Mask is back online. Magic is back. Who else flipped? X23 still up with one. Honey Badger. Stamina left. Oh, Honey Badger didn't thank flip. So we will certainly probably be seeing a Honey Badger being removed from the board. Black Cat as well was dazed, right? Yes. Yep. No, I don't think Black Cat was dazed. So oh, she's just already damaged. gone. That's yeah. Right. She wasn't able to get the job done up top. Okay, so who's your first activation? I think Paul retains priority here. Half an hour left. Is that enough time I think to I, delete She-Hulk? I think I'd go with She-Hulk first here. Yeah, and then I would mm. maybe not bother if this is the last round. The speed they're going, I think they could get two rounds in because we're going to start seeing characters removed. Yep. Yeah. Probably the starting this round. I would go with She-Hulk, probably try to get rid of Honey Badger. Mm. Yep. And then somebody else, maybe. Maybe Magic, is if you get lucky. She's definitely in range to throw that taco shack, cosmic taco shop. So, yep. She Hulk is going to med pack. Ooh, that's, that's huge. Ooh, the big positive geek. Thank you for the follow. Yeah. I like that name. 
Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right. So the thing with Wong, I do like Prone's suggestion there. If Wong moved up, she wouldn't have to shake the bleed later. The chances of her being dazed in a single activation of Raven's Guard, not nah. That brings her back down to only build. 10 damage, right? With yeah. pack, mm -hmm. It's kind of huge. I don't know, just seeing 10 damage to go instead of 7 damage to go seems like a, a huge deal. Yeah. It is. Well, and with Wong there, if he gets up there and heals as well, I mean, that's going to bring her back down to 8 damage. I was gonna, just going to ask, his does 2, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I guess so. Yeah, it's a big... Yeah, She-Hulk is such an intimidating piece, but if you could get rid of her... Yeah. But again, with just under half an hour left in the round, is it worth it? Or do you go after a little bit easier people to bring down, like Crystal? And I mean, right now, with the tied game, like, you really need to start focusing on how you can deny points to your opponent and mm. potentially score more points for yourself. So is She-Hulk taking her out? Is that going to do either of those things at this point? Yeah. You know? It's a very good question. I heard a, a honey badger, right? Yeah, so we're clearing, honey badger? clearing the court into honey badger. Ooh, she's in trouble. That is a lot of dice going in here. Ten dice uppercut into venom. Oh, wow. Ten nice. dice undercut. Oh, into venom? I thought he said honey badger I, before, I but I guess too. Paul changed his mind. Wow. It is really happening here, folks. Look at that. No time like the present to do that live. Uh, there we go. Some Raven's Guard rolling some dice okay, here. So we had two crit for a total of six back into She Hulk. Oh, Shit, we got we are Venom. Wow. Come on, Rough. And he heals all of his damage back. Oh, wow. Gosh. It's like nothing happened to. Sh oh, that is a rough activation for She Hulk. Yes, it is. Venom doing what Venom do. I mean, you almost kind of just want to leave him alone. That, yeah. that combo is one of my favorites in the game. We are Venom mm -hmm. with so many snacks and just healing back the damage you took to trigger that. Hmm? All right, power on Black Dwarf from that for the A-Force affiliation. Okay. Shield's got one more action here. Oh, same, same thing. Yeah. Second verse, but stronger than the first. Venom does have seven stamina, so can she do it? Oh, I heard Raven's Guard say two crits on the defense roll. Nice. Yeesh. Wow, guys. <laughs> this is... Four hits. Oh, Raven's Guard rolled two crits. Two blocks. All right. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Three blocks. I like Only Let's one goes through. Damage went through. Oh, no. I don't know if that's going to be enough for so many snacks. But who cares? With that? It's only one damage. Yeah, you still have six to go, and She Hulk just has a maybe a throw. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's a fantastic round for Raven's Guard. Wow. Fantastic turn. She Hulk hasn't been as scary as she can be this game. I don't know how much of it is uh, rough rolls for Paul or just really good rolls for Raven's Guard. Okay, and then she's, oh, she's done. Take from the bleed. That means she's going to have nine left now. Oh no, I'm sorry, she did three back. How much does uh, She-Hulk have left, Chuck? How much does She-Hulk have left? Oh yeah, thank you for pointing that out. I forgot she threw Honey Badger before, so she can't throw the building. Is that 16, four left, yeah. Magic could apply and incinerate here. Oh, that was rough to take that much damage on her activation. And she yeah. has four power. What do you think, go with Magic before she's KO'd? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's the character you need Dark Child into She-Hulk, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do we do we limbo her and get her incinerated first? So that's that's a really good call. I almost don't think you need it. 
You only have to do four damage only here. Four damage on Mystic, which granted isn't her best defense, but I mean it's still pretty standard at three, I believe. I don't she think four she's, four three. She's three four three. Yes. Three four three. Yeah. So I mean, Dark Child seven dice. Mm -hmm. I'd go for it. If you got to follow it up with a with another attack. Yeah, it's worth yeah. that. I think. But. She we is doing gonna it. Okay. Limbo. We're going to get her teleported. We're gonna Magic get her does have a lot of power right now from being dazed. She does. So that means she could potentially just do this with a soul sword. Two defense dice against five. Yeah, I oh, would, she is going to Dark Child. Yeah, I would still go with the spender if I had the power just to not solidify it, but be to feel more confident. Oh, it's only six dice. I'm sorry. It is only six. It costs her four power, but when calculating successes, they will both add their skulls to the hits. And then she'll be double bleeding and double incinerated, something we haven't seen on the stream so far. How does double incinerate work? Just like the first one, but different. Uh-oh. Four, that's exactly. Oh, no. She's got one she's left. so far away from Wong. Look at how far she got to go away from Wong. Magic still has another action, though. She yeah. can absolutely finish her yeah. off with a soul sword or a bolt of ostrich. I mean, soul sword's the way to go here. Yeah, you do not you want a bolt here. It is certainly a soul sword. You get pierce on it. Should it be. should finish her off. I heard him say I pierced. Form of the pierce. That should do it. Okay. She hopes me. Oh oh, he's picking her up. Oh, oh, she's dazed, right? She doesn't flip. She's not KO till she flips. Impressive. Uh, well done. No field dressing. She's not going oh, to no. Finish her. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Nice turn from Magic. We're seeing Magic get work done today. Mm -hmm. I remember when we first went over her card and waited a roll while we were a little underwhelmed, but I Did think she? seeing it in play, she is great. Did she hope have a hammer? Did she hold have a hammer? What's that? Okay. Oh, a magic teleported out of there. Yep. Did magic pick up the hammer? Chuck, did magic pick up the hammer? Did magic pick up the hammer? Awesome. She picked it up and teleported out of there. There you go. Finger guns teleported away. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a huge play. Absolutely massive play yeah. for Raven's guard. That was a great activation. That is a huge turn of the tide. In a, in a game that's tied at this point, like, we need to see some kind of, yeah, major play like that. Black Dwarf could get some work done here. He's pretty good on power. I know he's been powering up with A-Force's ability. Yeah. We still have that leadership ability till the end, till the cleanup phase when She-Hulk will be removed. Yeah. So at least... Oh, Black Ooh. Cat just stole Storm's hammer. Didn't see that one coming. Forgot about that fight at the top of the screen. <laughs> I mean, with a hammer, Black Cat could in fact do one damage with her spender. Oh, wow, that's true. Mm -hmm. Better chance to get that stagger, though. That is true. I think the stagger happens Never oh, mind. only that's if damage is old. done. Yeah. Excellent players! Oh. That is time to run! Okay. 20 minutes left. A time massive, massive of Delta Paul. We got giveaways. Let's see who Paul is going to activate. I think Black Dwarf is Paul. No, it could You're be Crystal. Oh, it was Black Cat. We already knew that. Sorry. Um, Stole the hammer. Turn to the HQ. Sorry about that. They and then it looks like we're going to get we maybe some Brad Black Cat Pat, claws into Storm. Great moves to the hammer first and then attacking Leader here. So she's not only switching that victory point around, but also beefing up those cat claws. Yeah. Hammer claws. So does Black Cat have two hammers right now? So for nothing on that. Really? No cat claws. Finding purchase here. Does Black Cat have two hammers? Can we see that on our card there? Did she pick up one before? Uh, great question. We'll have to wait for X-Wing to stop screaming before we ask Chuck. Right. 
355. Okay. Trying to interact with the portal. Failed. Oh, so she rolled a skull while trying to interact with the portal, so uh, Raven's Guard can, in fact, move her, uh, you know, over there. How many hammers does Black Cat have? One. Only Thank one. Thank you. Okay. All right, hammers are on Wong, X-23, Magic Black Cat. That is accurate. Nice. You guys have been yeah. really yeah. Honestly. I'm impressed with how well they've been paying and following yeah. along, paying attention. Yeah. Does that mean that we're doing a really good job? I think so. It means that we are <laughs> disseminating the information correctly. And casually. Mm-hmm. You know. If there's something we do here, it's that. Yeah. Raven's Guard putting some magic into this roll. Let's see what we get. This looks like a lightning bolt with a crit into Black Cat. Zippity zappity goes the cat. Cat teeth. I tried. It was bad. Oh, Black Dwarf. Who's attacking who, Chuck? I, we can't hear you if you're not facing us. Someone is attacking Black Dwarf, I think he said. Yeah, I think it's X-23, maybe. I believe that's what he said. Okay. Okay, awesome. X-23 into Black Dwarf. X-23 into Crystal, Black Okay, there we go. Black Dwarf bodyguarder for Crystal there. From an attack originating from X-23. Okay, he's doing it again. And we are bodyguarding again. Yes, I can absolutely drop a link to the standings. Here you go. From the long shanks. All right, three crits. Five. He'll take three with the invulnerability. Okay, gonna get a medium movement from that spender. Nice. Can get away from the retaliation of a black dwarf. Probably yeah, a great call. Gonna go hang out and taunt She Hulk as she is dazed but not gone. <laughs> black dwarf is gonna hit back hard. Yes, he is. But now it looks like one of his only options is Venom, which I'm not positive he's gonna want to do. Yeah, and he's not within two. I think black dwarf spender is range three. But do you want to do that into Venom and you know? Pretty easily triggered so many snakes. Not particularly. It could stagger though, which could be pretty detrimental with the Venom directly in front of Crystal. Hmm. So let's take a look. Paul, important decision to make. Does he activate Wong or does he activate Black Dwarf? To, to further add to that question, was Crystal gone this round? Will he activate Crystal? Because <laughs> we, we've seen She-Hulk and Black Cat go this round, right? So mm -hmm. he's got Crystal, Black Dwarf, Long left. Seems like it. Danny, what are your thoughts on She-Hulk being out of the table? I mean, she took a ton yeah. of damage, a lot of attacks, but yeah. Venom, this time, getting his revenge after that last For game. sure. I mean, you know what? you got to have a little bit of give and take there. Yeah. So. He, he earned it after the last game. Black Fury, Black Fury, Black Fury into Venom. Ooh, okay. That's his throw. All the top, the cosmic taco stand into Venom. I mean, Not an attack, so we can't retaliate. Correct. Hmm? There are the snacks. Oh, yeah. He's going to go, ow, ow, ow. Oh, four yeah. of the five go through. Oh, went through. That is actually very bad for Venom, so he can't counterattack if he is dazed. So now the Black Dwarf has moved. Eat an axe strike could finish him off. Mm hmm. Little we'll daze him here, right? There we go, axe strike. Right. Six dice. Seven. He's got a hammer. Oh, yeah. Wow. If he wow. dazes him, he doesn't get to. We are Venom, right? Yep. All right, so five are going to seek purchase. Five go five through. Go Looks through like Venom is dazed. Here's the token. Venom. And that is the 
look at Black yes, Dwarf getting work done. He I gets a lot of slack and he gets a lot of crap, but why do people dislike him so much? Uh, he doesn't. I mean, he's got a good throw. Size four throws at medium. Uh, his attacks are solid. I'm not really sure. I've I've used him. He does well. Mm-hmm. He's kind of. I mean, he's four. He's not that expensive. We don't see a lot of play even in Black Order for him. Yeah. A lot of people it's say there are other fours that do what he does better, but the slow move hurts. But he is a large base. Uh, I like Black Dwarf overall. All right, so we're getting a storm into Black Cat now. Thanks for the input, chat. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, for real. And he looks cool. I feel like five. he looks like a more well managed group. Five hits, nothing black from Black Cat. Thunder striking the cat out of being the Wakers. Zap. I would say it kind of looked like a yellow abomination with armor. Yeah. And an axe, so he's cooler. I, I loved his like uh, anchor axe thing. That and, was uh, awesome. Yeah. Infinity War and Endgame. Mm-hmm. I just wish he had any personality in that other than her. Yeah. I don't know what he's like in the comics. I've never read anything with the Black Order, but apparently there's a couple of characters people are really looking forward to, like somebody, uh, Super Giant, which is a cool name. Yeah. I would love Strong Guy. I would love Strong Guy. Guido is such a great character. I just I still ab- Guido. absolutely adore the time uh, the Thunderbolts went to uh, hell. And they go to, to fight the devil to get out of there, and strong guy sitting on the, the throne. They're, like, they're what? like, what are you doing here? He's like, oh, yeah, the devil was being real mean to people, so I, I beat him up, and I guess I'm the devil now. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I could totally see strong guy just, like, shrugging, like, I don't know. <laughs> he's a great, he, he's also one that sometimes breaks the fourth wall. Yeah. It's just kind of a weird character, but he's actually, like, strangely tragic at the same time yeah i always really like strong guy i feel like he gets a lot of crap most because his name is strong guy Mm -hmm. Uh, but that's part of like his charm to me is that i think he just he gave himself that name because he was like i couldn't think of anything else i'm a real strong guy someone called him that one so i guess that works right look at that little he's bald with that little curly q of white hair in the front yeah i love him he always has those weird glasses little goggles goggles, huge body and the, 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 the dairy queen uh ice cream top yeah the blizzard hair. Uh, I would love to see him in this. Yeah. <laughs> Never got one. All right. Wong is in charge. Oh, he just double moved down there? You gotta stop asking for blizzards, though, Danny. It is snowing here at the But I still like ice cream. And Wong has done what? Wong is complete. He just sprinted down to the southern part of the table. Oh. Looks like Shuri's taking advantage Ooh. of him leaving and going to take the opponent's spot. It doesn't look like she got in range, though. Setting up if they get one more turn in. Yeah. I mean, we are really heavily weighted towards the bottom of the map. I think Shuri will, for the most part, be able to take that uncontested next turn. And if anyone does try to fight her off, she'll be able to Panther Gauntlets them away as long as they are size three or less. So literally everyone but Black Dwarf who will probably have a little bit of trouble actually getting over there. Yeah. So I think it's uh, a seed and prone really hit the nail on your question there, Danny, where Black Dwarf is often uh, maligned because he doesn't have that dice consistency. Same as Thor and Wolverine, yeah. where they have impressive looking attacks, but no sources of rerolls on their own. They really rely on somebody to buff them, which with their relatively high price tag is not ideal. Zero damage locked all so Honey Badger does fly into Crystal. Crystal blocks it all, but we do get the bleed. Here's the thing, though. When you think of Thor and you think of Black Dwarf, the reason I feel like they don't have a lot of re-rolls or consistency with their dice is because they are straightforward attackers. They are the guy. Yeah. I go in there, I hit. That's it. I don't have strategy. My strategy is hit as hard as I can. Yep. So their attacks have more attack dice, but they don't have consistency because... Let's be fair, they do whiff a lot because they're all power all the time. I don't think every single character needs re-rolls all over the place. Like, we saw how effective having Baron Zemo in there to buff Wolverine is. Um, you just have to know that going in, that they're going to need a little bit of help, and that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. And especially, like, if you can build your roster around that and anticipate that, I think that's fine. Mm-hmm. So we get the end of round three, right? Yes. So we're going to go into round four with ten minutes left. 
Ravens guard at 12, Paul at 2, still anyone's game. Doug in 10 minutes? I don't know. Oh, we I mean, should probably let them know that timer is almost Yeah. Up. Chuck, if you want to let them know, there's about nine minutes left in the round. There's nine minutes. Yep, Gordon Longshanks, we got 10 minutes. We do have a few. We got She Hulk is off the table. Has anybody else been removed? If you were playing no. on table four, Honey Badger's still alive. I'm still, still there. She Hulk going is saving a bit of time because her activations are awfully, yeah. usually pretty involved with a lot of things she can do. All right, we've done the power phase. Looks like our players are thinking about how to start this out. Long finishing up the round, I believe, right? So we will see Raven's Guard start us off. Mm -hmm. okay. Who are we going with first here? If you're Paul, who you, Paul's got priority, right? Chuck, who has priority? Paul. Oh, who are you going with first if you're Paul? Black Dwarf, clear the field a bit. That's I think, what I would do. Black? Especially because we're really getting down to the wire here. Yeah. These first few activations on both sides need to have an impact. Or do you go with Crystal that's you know, got that consist little bit more consistency with her built-in reroll, potentially three attacks. I'm not sure where she is for power, but probably pretty good. I was going to say, it depends on who's got more power. Yeah. That's going to really add more versatility to what you can do. I think if we do go with Crystal here, you get two volcanic surges out. You put incinerate on everyone that Raven's Guard has on the map here. Just give you the, the over-under on this. I'm not sure exactly where we are for stamina on those two characters either. Depends on, a lot of it depends on what they have left. If somebody's got like one or two stamina left, they seem like the obvious choice. Crystal could get two incinerates on magic and venom and another two on X-23 and honey badger, generating four power and then being able to get a third attack, setting up some absolutely devastating attacks for Black Dwarf. It could be good. Black Dwarf can't throw venom into somebody though. Blind Crystal obsession. Blind Obsession Honey Badger. Wow. Oh, Interesting. Wow. Didn't see that coming. If you want my really hot my call of the day. Uh-huh. Charlie's call of the match. Yeah. It seems personal. <laughs> that it seems personal to put Blind Obsession on Honey Badger. He needs Honey Badger out here. She's in within range one of Black Dwarf and potentially Crystal as well which could also lead to an absolutely devastating onslaught. He could take out Honey Badger with Crystal, put Incinerate on everyone on that side of the board. That's setting them up well, because I think Black Dwarf is pretty good for his health right now. Mm -hmm. He's got, I think, six on this side. Hydrokinesis starting it. That's odd. I wouldn't have expected that. Six, six dice. Dice into Honey Badger. Should do well, you would expect three, three crits. Ooh, crits. That's a great start. Oh, Honey Badger is gone. Five. It looks like Honey Badger is gone. She off the table. Bye, okay. Honey Badger. We like you a lot. We like you a lot. That's the first attack. She only generated one power off that. Let's see what this next one is. I'm going to have to assume it's a Volcanic Surge. You know, maybe with Black Dwarf's base, she won't be able to hit two. But I think having Black Dwarf take one there is potentially worth it. Oh, magic just might be out of range completely and not even worth it. Still. It's a nice one into Venom, though. He took a ton of damage from Black Dwarf last mm -hmm. turn, so she might, with a good roll, finish it. Face yeah. him here. I like Raven's Guard's rolling style. He's like, Whoa. Yeah. like pops the dice out of his hand. It's like uh, when you were in gym class as a kid and you get the hula hoop and you want to like spin it back at you. Yeah. You'd be like, Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, Volcanic Surge? Yeah. Uh-huh. One. Oh, oh no. Uh -oh. Only one damage in the Venom. He's still up, so we have so many snacks. Okay, so he's not going to be able to modify the dice here. That is a good call. So many snacks and into Tendrils instead of VR Venom. Doesn't care about the healing. Just wants to make sure that the Inhumans roll can't save her here. All right, let's only taking one. But bleeding. Making her the victim. Yeah, making her bleed during her activation is rough. Because mm -hmm. it's like, do you shake it? I'm not sure what she's at for health right now. I think she just flippery. 
Yeah, no. Yeah, I didn't see that. Apparently got a cool blind obsession. Yeah. Oh, she already did two actions. What am I saying? That was her second action, that shot. That's Does right. Does she have enough? If she took some damage here. Does she have enough power for elemental onslaught or? That's a good question. She only gained two here. She's got, yes, she does for elemental onslaught, but she has to use a power she already hasn't used. So no energy attacks here. It's going to be the A2 earth attack or the wind-based push attack. And you don't want to do damage to Wong and Black Dwarf here, so probably the wind. Right. Looks like wind into X-23. Yeah, that's a good call. Push, push her through even more, yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The hotel buggy swinging around, ringing its bell, <laughs> ring a ding ding. It's the beer cart. Here we go. We are getting close to three minutes. Three minutes left in the round. Stressing me out. What's that? X23 took two damage from the air attack from <laughs> Mitch. <laughs> Mitch, I wish it was ice cream. More than anything in the world. <laughs> okay. And then get the push. is going to get pushed. Behind the dice tray. <laughs> Just so we all know where she ended up. X23. He's right down here. That's a good arrow. Thanks, it's like man. the best arrow you've done yet. That's a really good arrow. You know, I don't, I don't like to go out of my way often, but... These graphics are worth the budget. Also, I cleared it. <laughs> so, if you missed it, guys, you missed it. That's why you got to watch live. X-23 is down here. Oh, and we got it to stay. All right. Still a good arrow. Not as good. And Crystal is now activated. So, yeah. Okay. So yeah, the, so the it took them a little bit to get set up. They didn't start right at the 90 minute marker, so that's why it seems like it's a little bit shorter. All right, let's see what we can get done here. So back to Raven's Guard. Where's he going? Is the Venom gone this round? You try to finish off Black Dwarf. Okay. Taylor. Do you want to line up the next people? Yes. All right. Let we got dice look. rolling. A bunch of them. I'm not sure. I think this might be Venom. It or is could. this Dark Child? Oh, it could be Dark Child. That's a lot of dice. <laughs> so it seems like this is in the Black Dwarf. Seems like a lot. Minus one with some unbreakable skin. Or invulnerable skin. Oh, was Venom? Six damage. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, he's dazed because I think he's got six on his healthy side, That's right? That's a hammer down, too. Yeah. I believe he's six and eight. He is. He gets beefy when he flies. Oh, so he loses that hammer. Wow. I think that, that might be game here. Nice. Pick that up. He doesn't have too much left to deal with. <laughs> just just start getting into the song and stop. Right. You know, just edging you a little bit. Okay. Oh, I'm assuming Venom into Wong here. I think Charlie was trying to tell us what we were oh, too busy crystal. dancing. Oh, Crystal. crystal. Okay. Surprise not Wong. He hasn't gone yet. Symbiote. Two go through. We are Venom, we though, so crystal. we're going to heal a little bit. Ugh. So I think he's back to pretty oh, much full, if not full. I'm shocked. Wait, this Crystal's has been a roller coaster of motion. She holds down, out, gone. Honey Badger also gone, down and out, single tier. X23 is out of shot, but still on the table. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, that is time. Yep. I think they might have a little more on the official clock. That's true. Thirty seconds. Yeah, we'll 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 let them keep going unless uh, the judge comes over and tells us to stop. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think the judge will. But 
They should be able to finish this round. Should be able to. Don't have too much left. The good news is that they have these built-in 15-minute breaks. So, I guess if we do go a little bit long, it won't run into the next round as long as it's not too long. Yep. But I think it will be decided here. Yeah. Uh, Wraith, it was Magic who took out She-Hulk. The combination Um, of, like, Magic and Venom together kind of, like, tag team in her. Magic had a great turn against She-Hulk, teleporting her, incinerating her, and just wailing away with her sword. It was a magic Venom. Okay, so Blackhead did move up. She did get the portal for the A Force, but roll the skull, so she will be moved way off of it. That Don't have a final score just yet, Mitch. We're almost done. The anticip. <laughs> huh? No oh. breathing. All right. What we got left? She's going to move back up and in. Wong can still go. She can get Crystal maybe a little bit healthier to go into the end of the game. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, We we might see a Wong into Venom just for the lols. We might see Shuri go and finish. Looks like we have some tokens being handed off. Black Cat stealing a hammer. Oh, big move there. Storm. I don't think that'll be enough for the one loss of Black, off of Black Dwarf, but... You're so sure that can take the Paul's home portal. Yeah. And he's... Paul's... Or Ravens are still holding on to his home portal, so I think... We got some teleporting with magic Ooh. with Storm's leadership. Awesome. Getting her okay. right into position. She should be able to daze Wong here with two actions. I mean, she could potentially kill Crystal and Days Long. What's that? Now Now Limbo's Limbo's tapping. To get within range one of that southern portal. Yeah. All right. We're getting a soul sword into Wong. Let's see how this one shakes up. Wong. It's only taken two here. Two damage to Wong. That's He's what, four and four? He is four and four. Kind of solid for a two threat. Yeah, actually. Oh, we're going to again. Soul again. Again. This time with feeling. Uh, a crit. There's a crit. Four. Four. Three. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wong. Blocking flame. Wong. Wong is, in fact, indestructible. We long need MVP. Wong to hold on. He goes long. Oh, Ravens are going to throw more dice. What was that Long one? gets the portal. Or, I'm sorry, Magic gets the portal. Oh, with he's rolling. Oh, he ended with the portal. Ooh. Well done. Jeez. So that's going to be a lot. So I think that gets him to the 16 if Shuri gets that portal. Oh, they're counting up objectives here. Mm-hmm. Oh, we um, might be shaking hands in a second. We might. Confirming. Have the handshake. Is it inevitable? Inevitable. Shaking the hands. Handshake. There it is. Okay. Nice close one. I believe this is Raven's Guard. What's our final score? Yes, what is the final score? Mitch is dying to know. Yeah. Looks like 17, I'm hearing. To 13, 17 to 13. X-Men taking this one. All right. Awesome game by both. Oh, I can't believe She-Hulk went down. He was so close the whole time. Guys, X-23 is now under the commentary desk. Oh, my God. (laughs) Watch those feet claws. That toe claw that gets you every time. (laughs) Always forget about it until it, you know, stabs you. So. That was awesome. Great game. Honestly, going into any game, you don't expect She-Hulk to be able to be felled. No, not at all. When that special delivery happened in the beginning, I thought Magic was absolutely done for. But holy cow, she held it out through that first round. It took a lot. It took a brace. It took a mid-pack. And that's just good use of tactics cards. Mm -hmm. You know, like, 
that's how the game should be played. Yeah, I Absolutely. think Magic MVP for yeah, Ravens Guard. I would oh, agree. For sure. Yep. And I don't know if it's that Magic was the MVP for Ravens Guard or if it was that unfortunately She Hulk's rolls were. And she just didn't get a lot of damage through on three special deliveries, or I'm sorry, on three sensational uppercuts. Sensational uppercuts at the at the start. I mean, who would have guessed that? Right. I thought she'd be down one, maybe two. Uh, yeah, on twenty one dice. That is nuts. Yeah. So that was the right time for Brace. Apparently, it didn't really. We had that throw into Venom that really hurt, but kind of too late. Uh, we already have one. No, one of our players for round four. Taylor just confirmed. Ooh. Playing Guardians. We've got Nate with Guardians. We got Nate GG. Not G, not uh, uh, Nate a, Horn. Nate Horn. All right. Yeah. We got Nate Horn with so. Guardians. We haven't seen yet. Okay. Uh, very excited for that. That listen on the bingo card. There's not much left. Right it's pretty much Inhumans and uh, Asgard. I saw one Inhumans roster out there. I haven't yeah. noticed a, an event. Oh, and uh, Wakanda. Asgard. Oh yeah. And Wakanda. I, yeah. Mm, it's hard to tell just walking up and down exactly what they're on, you know, if they have that. But I don't remember seeing too many Not Black Panthers. Not a lot of any can play more than one. Four. Right, yeah. Affiliations, well. Nate, Hi, hello. Nate. Hop on here for a second, bud. Here, take my spot. Oh, He'll be, well, the next round's about to start. I assume you're playing in the Contest of Champions, right? I am. You well, actually have uh, the, my two previous opponents up here. Oh, gotcha. Oh, so cool. You <laughs> so you are both their other one. Yep. Gotcha. I was like, oh, this is just like the uh, Hate Nate Club up here. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nate, what are you playing? What's your roster for the contest of champions? Uh, anybody who was tuned in on Thursday is going to recognize a lot of pieces. Uh, so I, I'm guessing some Avengers, maybe some Steve? A little bit of Steve action. A little, a little bit, bit of Steve. A little bit of Vision. Okay. Uh, a lot of Loki. All Steve, right. A lot of Loki. Uh, with the mind gem. With the mind gem, got to. Absolutely. Uh, with uh, Black Panther, uh, Dr. Voodoo, because I'm a menace to society, Hulk, all, all the good stuff. Awesome. So, what's, uh, how'd your first two games go? Uh, first two games went well. Uh, first one was 16 10 against uh, a gentleman on the last Against game. Paul, okay. Yeah. And then uh, the other game was uh, at 6 to 8. Okay, against Ravensguard. And then game three? Game three ended up being uh, 16 to 10. Okay, so you're 3 and 0. Also 3 and 0. Yeah. Wow, nice four. job. Awesome. So we might be seeing you tomorrow then, too. It Sounds like, like it. Possibly. What's up, everybody? I'm going to make the chat because that's a thing to do. <laughs> Well, awesome. Any super cool... So who'd you play against round three, or what did you play against, I suppose? Uh, I finally got to play against the dreaded uh, criminal syndicate. Ooh, all right. Yeah, Is that was, Nick? Uh, it was Nick, as a matter of fact. Oh, okay. Uh, Nick, we saw in round one. Yeah. Oh, all right, so everybody but me is all of these people. Uh, <laughs> we, we have a small cluster, <laughs> you know? Uh, he was a great player. Uh, came down very, very close. Uh, it was uh, yes. the... Deadly Legacy Virus, which is very intimidating. Yes, I can see that. It has those things around, uh, along with uh, spider portals. Oh, okay. So we just saw some spider portals here as well. Uh, oddly enough, I don't think that's the first time. I think that was the first time we've seen it. Uh, at least on our stream yeah, this week. pretty sure. But... All right, well, cool, Nate. It was always good to see you. Yeah, guys, thanks, thanks for stopping by. I hope your voice feels better. I feel really bad we made you talk. Uh, <laughs> I haven't done it all day, so uh, <laughs> you guys uh, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, Thank good you, luck man. round four. Thank you, guys. I'll, and I'll, as always, make sure to follow the Gamers Guild everywhere you can. Thanks. <laughs> Woo, so we got Guardians. 